Aren't we all victims of binge eating junk food because of the satisfaction it brings us? Today we decided to see if we would binge eat some healthy alternatives to some of our favorite snacks. And we're gonna rank them based on how close it is to the counterpart. I think we could all agree one of the best binge eating foods is ice cream. But this tub of ice cream has 1,100 calories in it. And the healthy alternative to this Ben & Jerry's ice cream is Halo Top, which has a total of 360 calories in the container, which is a fraction of what the Ben & Jerry's has. So we're going to be ranking the healthy alternatives based on how close they are to the original. And for both of these, we got chocolate chip cookie dough. There's a reason this company's successful. <laughs> Let me tell you. That's so good. Now we got the Halo Top. Same flavor. What's different about Halo Top? What do oh, they do? Wow. That's still really good. It tastes really different, but it's still really good. They use sugar alcohol. Oh, that's why. It doesn't taste similar, no, but it is really good. Like, I would still get it. First ranking, how close to the Ben & Jerry's is it? Five? Not even. It's like a it's three. Like a three or four. Three? Yeah. How delicious is it? I'd honestly give it like a seven and a half. I'll give it seven and a half too. I like that a lot. But it's not, it's not like this immaculate flavor. It's Halo Top's guilt free, bro. It is guilt free. That whole thing's 360 calories. Mm -hmm. Everybody likes a nice, super moist cake. Right? <laughs> oh, I do. But this whole thing is 2,700 calories. Tragic. That's insane. It's tragic. Another contender from Halo Top is the chocolate cake microwavable edition. 170 calories in this one cup. This is about half the calories as the same sized piece from the super moist Betty's cake. I'm gonna start with the, the Betty's. Give me a corner right here, you know. Is it warm? No, it is super moist. It is super moist. Melts in your mouth, man. It's moist and melts in your mouth. You could go with it well with anything creamy. <laughs> Can't miss. Takes about 45 minutes to make. Now there's Halo Top on this side. A minute to make. All right, maybe two minutes if you include stirring and adding water, but let's try it out. Oh, it's like dirt. Yeah, it's disgusting. Wow, it's not sweet at all. It's so bitter. There's eight grams of added sugar. It still tastes like shit. And you can taste the chocolate. Definitely real chocolate in there. How close is it? Like a two? No, it's more than, it has that chocolate taste. Like a five? Yeah. I kind of like it. It is the same consistency. It's chocolate cake. <laughs> I say like six. Okay. I think above that is pretty close. Maybe the only thing different is the sweetener. Yeah. How sweet it is and how dense it is. So it's pretty close to that cake, but the taste. Out of ten. I'm thinking like a four. Yeah, five. I would say four and a half. All right, there you go. I bet the birthday cake one is better. Next contender on our binge eating list is Swedish fish or any gummy for that matter. This has 385 calories in one bag. But here we got Smart Sweets. Entire bag, 280 calories. It's a Swedish fish, but it's smart. Best gummy brand of all time. Is it Haribo versus Swedish fish? I do love me some Swedish fish. A Swedish yeah. fish and friends. What flavor is this? Um, dingleberry. No, <laughs> lindenberry. What, what the fuck is a dingleberry? <laughs> lindenberry, the Swedish. Berry? Is it actually Swedish? It's a berry from Sweden. It's pretty good though. Swedish fish is bomb. But smart sweets. Let's see how close. I feel like this is gonna be a, a pretty close one. The calorie difference is only a hundred. These look like real fish bait. <laughs> they do. <laughs> they have like the shine to it. Consistency is almost there though. The stuck to your teeth type of. That's just like a different berry. Would you grab this instead of Swedish fish? Calorie difference is not that crazy. It's not. Calories were not there. I'll just grab this. Yeah. This is not that close to that. This is more sour. Way more sour. It has a different taste. Yeah. Closeness, probably like a four. Yeah, down for a four. Is there no seam in the house? I think so. Four? Four. It yeah. tastes different. It's tangier, way tangier. And like besides the Swedish fish, the rating of this? Five. Yeah, also because of how much it more gets stuck to your teeth. Man, I want these though. These are good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a healthier alternative. It's plant-based, no artificial sweetener. No artificial, no sweet. <laughs> but it doesn't taste much like Swedish fish move on. Now I think the GOAT of binge eating, chips. The GOAT? They come in all different kinds of shapes and sizes and flavors and varieties. Size doesn't matter. Now here we got uh, Ruffles, cheddar and sour cream. 390 calories for the whole bag. But what's the alternative to that? Cheese crisps, cheddar cheese crisps to be exact. Now this one has 340 calories in it. Not much of a difference, but this has 20 grams of protein. 
as opposed to the five grams of protein in here. Plus, only two grams of carbs. Have I had these in a minute, man? It's very easy to get lost in a bag of ruffles. Punching. Nostalgic. They're nostalgic. They're juiced up potatoes, too. Look at the mass of these. Mm -hmm. Those are GMO, pesticides. Everything you could think of is on that potato. Artisanal cheese crunch. Four ingredients. Really? Wow. This one has... I can't even count. There's at least 20 ingredients in here. At least. It smells like crap. They're so small. They're kind of heavy. I could curl this, bro. I can't. <laughs> Oh, wow. Wow, that was really unexpected. It's dense. Well, it was really sharp. I, I like it. I think this is good. I'm not a fan. No? I'll tell you something, though. These cheddar ones are better than the Parmesan ones. For sure. Yeah. These are really salty, but they're not as salty as the other ones. Well, how much sodium is in it? Let's see. That compares to this. 660 in this bag. 460 in this one. Wow, this is more sodium. This is more sodium, more protein, but less carbs, and slightly less calories if you eat the whole thing. So this is the healthier alternative, for sure. How much does it taste like ruffles, cheddar cheese, or any cheddar chip for that matter? Zero, I think. I think like a one, because of the cheddar. I'll give it like a two. All right, 1.5 then. Just for that cheese tang, you know? But the actual rating of this, I'm giving that like a four, bro. I'd say six. We agree on five. Oh, really? Let me have more, bro. <laughs> I kind of like it. You feel better about yourself if you eat these because of the less ingredients. I think it's literally just cheese, but dehydrated. Think about it. Look at the ingredients. It's just cheese. All right. It's the end of the night, you're about to finish the movie, but there's still room for a new beverage. Chocolate milkshake. Nesquik, whole bottle, 250 calories. 14 grams of protein, I didn't know that. But its alternative is a protein shake. Specifically, today, it's muscle milk. 170 calories, so yes, it is less. The muscle milk is 80 calories less, <laughs> and it has 11 more grams of protein in it. 25 grams of protein, 14 grams of protein. That's a throwback. That taste itself is nostalgic. I always thought the best one was strawberry. Strawberry was good. Yeah, it's really good. Wow, that is good. 40 grams of sugar compared to zero grams of sugar. Oh, muscle milk has no sugar in it. That has a deeper flavor. That actually tastes better. You think so? Yeah. I think it tastes like barbecue. I think that tastes really good. It is really good, not for nothing. I like that I a think, lot. I still think it tastes like barbecue though. How close is that? Actually, they're not that far off, I feel like. They're not. This is the closest one. I give it like an eight. Eight? Closeness? I'm very I'm, close to that. I give it like a seven. Seven and a half? Seven and a half. What's the rating on that? On this? Yeah. I'm like an eight. I would drink that with my cereal. Like We've eight. done that before, haven't we? We did it with Quest. Quest shake, yeah. 500 grams. Link to the 500 grams of protein video in one day in the description or on the screen somewhere. What do you rate this? I rated it an eight. I give it a seven. Seven? Seven point five across the board. Yeah. Seven and a half. Seven and a half. The muscle milk is the closest to us alternative. And the cheese is the farthest. You can't really match a chip in a healthy way. It's always good to cut back on the, the junk food. You know, junk food's not good for you. If you're gonna cut back, at least cut back with something healthier for you. And you know how we do it. This is BTB. If you like the video, hit the like button. Get some uh, get some muscle milk for yourself. Peace. Yeah.